How's it going everyone here to talk about the new PlayStation 4 and 5 titles dropping this week Look, we got a pretty notable week that is going a little bit under the radar We've got some big PlayStation Plus titles dropping PS2 on PS4 games finally We've got a huge beta that'll be kicking off for a very notable free game You've got some major JRPGs dropping on PlayStation 5 as well, formerly on the Nintendo Switch only, now popping up on PlayStation 5 as well. Kind of funny that we have two publishers making the transition from Switch to PS5. We'll talk about that major survival title and more, so we'll get to all of that. But let's kick it off with the PlayStation Plus editions of Tomb Raider Legends, Star Wars The Clone Wars, and Sly Cooper The Thievius Raccoonus. Yeah, I'm going to roll them all into one. These games should be available standalone, I imagine, for $9.99. Don't, don't attack me me if it's more than that i would just assume based on the pricing of other games that it'll be 9.99 sly cooper don't tell sony i'm saying this but they could probably price that at 14.99 and people would still buy it i'm just throwing it out there uh, hopefully sony doesn't watch this video but uh, some great additions to Plus Premium, especially from the standpoint of we're getting some rollouts as far as PS2 Classics Catalog, and they're getting the refinements and enhancements that the PS1 and PSP titles have been getting. For a while, Plus Premium has been locked to just PS1 and PSP games. Found it a little bit bewildering. They also rolled in, like, remasters and some PS2 games that were already out, but we weren't getting new additions. Now, we're getting new additions that hopefully paved the way for more new additions down the line, and I imagine that would be the case because... We're rolling out Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I imagine that Sly Cooper 2, and I imagine Sly 3. Uh, I forget the subtitles for those games, but uh, nonetheless, Sly 2 and 3. Was Sly 3 like Honor Among Thieves, or am I just adding Uncharted's uh, tagline to Sly Cooper now? Guys, it was in the PlayStation 2 days. My memory's a little bit hazy as far as that's concerned, but I am super excited for the addition of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. This is one of those IPs that... I feel like at this point, people view it as an iconic PlayStation IP, but it was always one of those secondary and tertiary IPs. Like, even if you go back to the PS2 days, I feel like Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, as far as the platformers go, were getting more play than Sly Cooper. I love the Sly games, love the other titles as well. Uh, love Thieves in Time on PlayStation 3 and PS Vita as well, but nice to see the franchise be revitalized to an extent with Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus as a PlayStation 2 uh, PS Plus Classic title. And again, whether you're a Plus Premium subscriber, whether you decide to play the game uh, by buying it on the PlayStation Store, either way, just nice to have this game on modern platforms. And then you got Tomb Raider Legend and Star Wars The Clone Wars. Look, those games don't do much for me, uh, but Tomb Raider Legend is a decent time. I just feel like Tomb Raider, since the reboot, has gotten so much better, like orders of magnitude better. And uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars, a classic Star Wars title. There's definitely going to be an audience for that as well. Moving on from that, I do want to note Valorant will be kicking off its limited beta. So, Valorant is coming to PlayStation 5 and to consoles in general, and this is a big deal. Uh, Valorant has been a mainstay on PC, done by one Riot Games. I know you guys love Riot Games, League of Legends, and all that good stuff if you're into that. I will say Riot Forge, their work on Ruined King, their work on the uh, Echo game Convergence, I thought oh, they, they've been doing great work. So credit to Riot Forge. Uh, Riot, on the other hand, you know, I'm not about the toxicity these days, but I did have a League of Legends phase, and I don't know if you want to call it a phase. It literally consumed, like, damn near a decade of my, not, not a decade, like a half decade of my life. But nevertheless, I played Valorant on PC as well. Uh, very, very sweaty. I'll just say that. For the beta, while we want to have everyone playing the same Valorant, we also know that with all the different modes, maps, agents, and guns, there's a lot to learn, so we'll be releasing the following modes and maps during our limited beta to catch everyone up to speed. Unrated, Swift Play, and Deathmatch, June 14th, you'll have Ascent, Bind, Haven, Abyss, June 25th, Patch 9-0, Sunset, July 9th, Lotus, July 23rd, Icebox, Team Deathmatch, all TDM maps, and Custom Games, all maps will be included as well. You can sign up right, uh, Right now, Valorant is all about how you want to play from the agents you pick, the gun you default to, to how you customize your collection. We're excited to welcome you into our community. Our limited beta will be getting on June the 14th in the following regions. USA, Canada, parts of Europe, and Japan throughout our limited and open beta. More regions will be made available. So as more content rolls out, I will be sure to let you guys know. But that will be kicking off this week on June the 14th. Make sure to sign up for the beta that'll be kicking off. Next up! 
Here's some exciting titles coming to PlayStation 4 and 5 for the first time. Monster Hunter Stories and Monster Hunter Stories 2. One Q Punch, both of them are dropping on the same day, June the 14th. I don't know how wise that is, um, but, you know, personally, I think it would have been better to time it out. Uh, but whatever, they're dropping both games right off the rip. Monster Hunter Stories was initially a 3DS game, finally getting ported to new platforms. And then Monster Hunter Stories 2 has been available on PC as well as Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch released first, then got ported to PC. Never got an Xbox or a, a PlayStation release. Now getting that PS4 and PS5 release. Now, with Monster Hunter Stories 2, you can buy it standalone for $39.99. If you do want both games, the ideal route to go would be to get the Deluxe Collection. That is $70. Actually, you could get the regular collection. That's probably the best route to go. The deluxe collection includes some superfluous additions, but the collection includes Monster Hunter Stories, Monster Hunter Stories 2, and a couple outfits as well. That's $59.99. Ultimately, I would probably say that this is best case of waiting for a sale. Nice to see it on PlayStation. Long time coming, but it's been a while. Why not wait another six to nine months and see the collection go down to like 30 bucks and then pick it up then? That's how I would approach this. If you want to go about it a different way, by all means do it. What I do know is on June the 14th, you'll get the release of another major JRPG, Shin Megami Tensai V Vengeance, the definitive version. Atlas at their finest. You have new content rolling out into SMT5. Obviously, the game was released on Nintendo Switch, and now it's coming to all other platforms, PS4, PS5, PC, X1, Xbox Series X, and on top of that, a host of new content updates. You've got a whole new story arc in the canon of Vengeance. If you already played SMT5, you can check out Canada Vengeance. It's a new storyline that starts off similar, but then there is a divergence point and it'll unfold differently. You also have Canon of Creation and that'll be the regular story that if you haven't played SMT5, you can play that. It's probably going to be worthwhile to go through both of the narrative campaigns and uh you know if you want to start off with canon of vengeance they are noting you can do that but i would probably recommend yo canon of creation came out last year why not play the original then jump back into canon of vengeance what i do know is that sounds like a lot of hours of gameplay given that canon of creation Probably gonna take you at least 40 hours right off the rip, and then you're talking about going through the game again with Canon of Vengeance. That's some exciting stuff as far as content availability. SMT5 Vengeance drops on June 14th. Next up, we have V Rising, the major. PC survival title is making its way on over to PlayStation 5. This game has been in early access for quite a while. Now it's coming out in its full release on PlayStation 5. Awaken as a weakened vampire after centuries of slumber. Hunt for blood in nearby settlements to regain your strength while hiding from the scorching sun to survive. Rebuild your castle and convert humans into your loyal servants, uh, servants in a quest to raise your vampire empire, make allies online, fend off holy soldiers, and wage war against other players. In a world of conflict, explore a vast world teeming with mythical beings and danger. Travel through lush forests, open countryside, and dark dungeons to discover valuable resources, meeting friends and foes alike along the way. Traverse the world with vampire comrades or hunt solo as you pillage villages, raid bandits, and wander into the domains of supernatural beasts. V Rising its PS5 on June the 11th. Next up, we have Rocket Knight Adventures Re Sparked. Rocket Knight Adventures Respark notes it's an electrifying collection that revives three classic games, inviting players to relive the nostalgic side scrolling experience as Sparkster prepare to battle an army of robots and pigs to save the princess. Exciting to see this preserved on PS4 and 5. Rocket Knight Adventures Respark drops on June. The 11th. And that is going to do it for me. Again, while I think for a lot of people, this week is going to go a little bit under the radar, with the excellent additions to the PS2 Classics catalog of Sly Cooper, Tomb Raider, and Star Wars Sly Cooper especially, that's huge to me. Valorant kicking off its limited free beta, that's a big deal, and that's going to be a huge free game release when it does ultimately drop in its full state. Monster Hunter Stories 1 and 2, well-received games, nice to see them now on PlayStation. SMT 5, that's a major JRPG release, and I'm sure that's going to give you a lot to sink your teeth into. V Rising, a major survival game, making its way on over to PlayStation 5. And then you've got Rocket Knight Adventures Resparked, a charming side-scrolling action title, a collection of them, and you'll have some fun with that as well. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.